No one likes working on a slow computer, but fast computers can be incredibly expensive. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my top five tips and tricks to really speed up and turbocharge your editing workflow when using Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna start right now. The first thing I recommend doing, and it's really more of a tidy up, is just simply cleaning up your Lightroom catalog. Basically go through and delete old photos that you've either edited already or photos that you know you're not going to edit. I know I've got about almost 100,000 photos on my Lightroom catalog. And what I did is I deleted around 80% of them, ones that I know from 2019, 2018, ones that I know I'm completely finished with, I've completely edited them, so I don't need them anymore. But also ones of ones that I've by actually taken off the ground. I know as a wedding photographer, I'm always, you know, having the cameras on my hip. And sometimes I by accidentally press the shutter button while walking from location to location, taking photos of my feet or of the floor or ones that are completely out of focus. So go through, delete all of those, and you'll hopefully see that your actual Lightroom speeds up in its initial loading process, but also when transferring from one catalog to another, simply because it doesn't have to go through hundreds of thousands of photos, it just needs to go through kind of the key ones you've got. And hopefully that will just simply speed up Lightroom Classic in general. Now, my next tip is actually all to do with the performance of Lightroom Classic and things that you can actually change with inside the settings. Changing things like the amount of RAM it can use as well as the size of the cache can really benefit how Lightroom works and how you like working with your editing workflow. So let me quickly show you how you can change the performance of Lightroom. So to go ahead and change the performance settings of your Lightroom Classic, what you will need to do firstly, go ahead and open it. Then you want to go up to where you can see it says Lightroom Classic in the top left hand side and you want to drop down to where you can see it says Preferences. Now inside Preferences you want to head over to where you can see it says Performance and we want to change two things inside here. The first thing we want to change is the Camera Raw Cache Settings. Now as a basic, I think as default it is set at one gigabyte which usually isn't big enough especially if you're working on a lot of photos. So what I recommend doing is increasing this. Now obviously do bear in mind it will take up more memory on your computer so don't make it too much don't make it too large but if you're working on a computer like myself that's actually an eight terabyte ssd then you can increase it to quite a large amount here it's got the maximum size of five gigabytes but we can actually increase that to 10 or kind of whatever number you like as well as if you want to you can also purge your cache so kind of reset from the get-go from now on so anything you've done before it won't remember it but from now on it will do and it can hopefully kind of speed up and kind of optimize your Lightroom. The next thing I recommend doing, and this is for the next step, is to use smart previews instead of original edited photos. I would actually have that turned on. We'll talk about smart previews in a bit, but make sure those two are turned off and hopefully those two things will hopefully start to speed up your Lightroom. My next tip is probably the one that's going to make the biggest impact and that is using smart previews. What smart previews are is basically a baby version of your original raw file. It has many benefits. It allows you to work offline as well as it allows you to basically work smoother in between different catalogs because you haven't got to load such a large raw file. You're working on these small smart previews. So let me show you how you can make them and utilize them in Lightroom. So there are actually two ways of creating smart previews inside Lightroom Classic. The first way is on import, and the second way is actually doing it to already imported photos. So let's say you wanna go import some photos, go down to the import button. Now on the right hand side in file handling, you can see you've got this button here, and this is called build smart previews. So every basically every photo that you import from then on will create a smart preview automatically. But Almost if you've already want, you, you want to make smart previews to already imported photos. That's also really easy. So let's just cancel out of here. Let's go to this very first photo here. You can see just below the histogram, you can see it says original photo. If you actually go ahead and click on that, you can see it says build smart previews for this photo. Now obviously you don't have to do it to every single one. What you can do is go ahead and press command A to your collection that you've made. And you can see it says now 56. If you go ahead and click that, you can see you can actually build build smart previews from those 56 photos. Now, obviously it will speed up your editing workflow, but the other big benefit is it allows you to work offline as well. So let's say you work on a laptop and all of your raw photos are on a hard drive. All this will allow you to do is basically 
work without having that hard drive all the time. So if you're a travel photographer, you bring your laptop, you can actually save your smart previews onto your laptop and not have all of your raw photos saved and have it on an external hard drive. So it can also speed up your editing workflow as, as well as allowing you working offline. So no photos are missing their links, which is incredibly helpful. And which is why I always recommend using smart previews. And my next tip is how you as a photographer interact with Lightroom Classic. And that is to use Adobe Lightroom Short. Shortcuts. Now shortcuts are a really good way of really speeding up your editing workflow when doing particular tasks inside Lightroom, like for instance cropping, changing the colour, maybe converting it into black and white, changing the aspect ratio. All of these things can be done using Lightroom shortcuts. Now what I won't do is go over every single shortcut that possibly exists, there are hundreds and hundreds out there. But I will say I've actually made a mini series on my YouTube going over my kind of top five, top three favourite shortcuts that really help me as a photographer speed up my editing workflow. So if you are interested, I'll make sure to leave it just below the like button, but let's go ahead and move on to my final tip. And my last tip is actually all to do with optimizing your Lightroom catalog. And to do that, it's actually really simple, but it is hidden within the settings. So let me quickly show you now. Now to optimize your Lightroom catalog, really easy. It's just basically a single button. What I reckon doing, opening up Lightroom Classic, going to where you can see it says file, and then you want to go and drop down to optimize catalog. What this will do is it will basically run an optimization to hopefully speed up Lightroom Classic. As you can see, I recently did this on the 26th of the 9th, 2023, but I would recommend doing it maybe weekly or really however much you use Lightroom. If you use it a lot more often, maybe every day, then I'd recommend maybe doing this every week. But if you're just a casual user, maybe every month or every other month will work fine. But recommend optimizing this as much as possible. Now it could take several minutes, really depends on the size of your Lightroom. So there we go, grab a cup of tea, come back and see if it is finished. And my bonus tip for this video is using Lightroom presets. Now, if you've never used presets before, they're a really helpful way of speeding up your editing workflow by being able to colorize and really customize your photo depending on how you like editing and then saving it into one single button. Really good way of really speeding up how you work in Lightroom. So let's take this photo as an example. I could go through changing all these settings, you know, increasing the highlights, darkening the shadows and whatnot, but instead I've actually got a bunch of presets I've already made which we can scan through. As you can see, I'm breaking in, into my wedding presets here. If I go down, choose which one I like. I quite like modern wedding for this one. And as you can see, it's automatically already applied all of these slider settings. I can go into my HSL, I can go to my details. You can see I've gone to my noise reduction, all sorts automatically just using one button. Now what's really nice is you can make your own presets if you want to learn how to do that, I'll go ahead and place the video in the link in the description. Also, you can buy presets. I sell some on my website, They're actually these six wedding presets. So if you are interested to have a bunch of presets, support myself with the channel and have some great presets that work on almost any style of wedding photo, go ahead to the link in the description. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So there are my top five tips and tricks to really speed up and turbocharge your editing workflow when using Lightroom Classic. And hopefully one of these or all of these tips will hopefully speed up how you work as a photographer so you spend less time editing and more time taking photos. I've been James for Photo Fever and I'll catch you guys next time.